Hi, and welcome to the third episode of h and Debriefing. I'm Cures and Heartbreaker site manager Heather Waters, and I'm here with Jennifer Prophet, Megan Hi. Frampton. Hi. <laughs> Megan is actually out on vacation, so it's the two of us this week. I thought I would kick us off by talking about a few of the site's biggest, most exciting stories this week. Uh, we were really excited to hear that Sherilyn Kenyon has released the whole first chapter of Son of No One, her next Dark Hunter book, which will be out on September 2nd, I believe. So we're really excited about that one. And Heroes and Heartbreakers actually did an exclusive sneak peek at Christina Dodd's uh, romantic suspense novel, Virtue Falls. We're also really excited about that one. And I think that you guys really had a blast with our Too Stupid to Live versus Kick-Ass Heroines post. Lots of awesome comments on that post, so keep them coming. And Megan asked everyone to talk a little bit about how they revel in their obsessions. And speaking of obsessions, we just learned yesterday that my personal obsession, The Mindy Project, will be returning to Fox with new episodes on September 16th. And for Harry Potter fans, there was exciting news that J.K. Rowling has released an update on Harry at the age of 34. So what is he up to now? You'll have to check out our post and go read the story. Um, and, uh, oh, Brandon Routh is joining the cast of Arrow, and all of our Allicity fans, like me, um, are wondering what that means for Felicity and Oliver in Season 3, if Brandon Ralph's character does in fact turn out to be a potential love interest for Felicity. So lots of really cool stuff on the site this week, and we love all your comments and hope you'll keep them coming. And Jen, I feel like you were excited about a post going up today. Yes, so we have a uh, secondary characters, um, secondary relationships um, post going up today uh, in just a couple of minutes, actually, and uh, it focuses, like I said, on the relationships in these books that sometimes can be more memorable than the main couple themselves. So um, Tiffany Tyre is the blogger who uh, wrote that post for us, and she talks about characters from... Um, Kate Pierce's erotic series, uh, Sydney Croft's um, acro series, and just really touches on why those really stood out for her. And she and I were talking about it, and uh, I have a couple that I'd add, including Esme from Eloisa James's uh, Duchess Quartet. Um, she was kind of an adversary a lot of the times, but then ended up really being a character that you rooted for, and you really wanted to see her have a happily ever after. Um, and then, funnily enough, uh, Sydney Croft, who is mentioned in Tiffany Tyre's book, is one of the pseudonyms for the writing duo Stephanie Tyler and Larissa Ione. And Larissa Ione has another really memorable couple for me. Um, Jem and Kai never get their own book throughout the entire series of uh, Demonica, but they do get lots of little scenes throughout. And uh, Larissa actually said on her website that she feels that they have a much more complete story than uh, other characters because it's told for such a long period of time. So uh, those are a couple of my favorite favorite secondary characters, uh, secondary relationships, and I want to hear what you have to say on Tiffany's post that goes up uh, today, and then also let me know, do you think that you feel more fulfilled having a secondary storyline in books, or do you want all of those secondary characters to actually have books of their own? Oh, ooh, I have to weigh in on this. I just realized that in our Too Stupid to Live versus Kick-Ass Heroines post, Alyssa Locke gets a shout out, and I have to say that she is one of my favorite secondary characters, and I was so excited when she and Sam got their own book in the Troubleshooter series. And I feel like a lot of people out there agree with me, so please join me in the comments and uh, support Alyssa and Alyssa and Sam. Awesome. So, yeah, let us know in the comments some of your second favorite secondary relationships that you've seen in books, and then make sure to go comment on Tiffany's post, and I think that's all that we have for you today. So uh, let us know what you're excited about on the site and, you know, what you're adding to your own to-be-read piles now after this. So thanks, guys. Bye. Have a great week, everyone, and we'll see you next Friday.